Hello and welcome to the <laughs> YouTube channel. So today is finally the day that I reveal our kitchen. I'm really, really happy with how it all turned out. It's actually pretty much exactly what I had envisioned for this space. So if you don't remember what it looked like before, I'll throw in some like before photos real quick because this place was ugly. Like really, really, really ugly. Wallpaper on the ceiling ugly. And I'm very happy to say it looks nothing like that anymore. So the most noticeable change in here is definitely probably the cupboards. We had them painted. The top is white by Benjamin Moore and the bottom is French Beret by Benjamin Moore. And I feel like they turned out really, really nicely. It's definitely that like kind of Pinterest style where dark bottoms, light uppers. And I love how it turned out. It feels very classic to me, but I like that we saved the cupboards. A, it helped with the budget, but it kind of kept the character of the home for us too. And then we swapped out hardware and I got these poles from Amazon actually. And then we kept the original um, some hardware back here and just had them painted to match the rest of the hardware. And then another huge or like very noticeable change is going to be the floors. We had all new hardwood floors put into the kitchen. Joel and I kind of went back and forth between tile and hardwood floors and I'm very happy that Joel was a big advocate for the hardwood floors because I think it looks a lot better than the like tile ideas that I had. The guy who installed it for us did a really nice job matching the rest of the hardwood in the house. Another thing that I absolutely love about this kitchen, I, I mean, I pretty much love all the things in here, but <laughs> we got new appliances. I love our new appliances. The fridge that we used to have that we bought the house with was really, really old, like really, really old. I love this fridge. Wanna look inside, like crib style? So then we also got a new range as well as a new dishwasher. Another thing we updated in this space were the countertops. We had really old Formica countertops and then that was just like a little chunk of butcher block. And we looked at a bunch of different styles of countertops and settled on quartz because quartz just really seems to like fit well with our lifestyle because you can pretty much do anything you can spill any amount of wine or anything on the countertop and i mean they're mostly indestructible i love the look of marble so we really wanted to find something that was kind of that marble look in quartz and I feel like we nailed it with this. I absolutely love our countertops. After we had the countertops installed that following weekend, Joel, myself, and my mom did the backsplash in here. And we chose, or I chose, a very classic subway tile. So I kept it clean and simple and classic with the um, standard subway tile. And then we went with a light gray grout. And I'm really glad we did that and didn't go lighter because, I mean, food gets everywhere in the kitchen and darker I think it would have been a little too busy so I love the grout choice that we did too. I love this thing. I wanted this faucet so badly. <laughs> it's Delta and it's like a bronze one. I was kind of a little bit worried that like with all the stainless steel and the bronze that it would kind of like not go together and almost butt heads in the space. But I feel like they, it just, it works. Everything just kind of works together because we have a stainless steel undermount sink. If you don't have an undermount sink and you're thinking about redoing your kitchen, get an undermount sink. It is like the most magical thing ever. You just like clean the counters and it's, I don't know, it's just so nice. It's those little things, you know? But yeah, back to the faucet. I love this thing. Don't want to actually installed it ourselves, which I feel pretty proud about. Or, I mean, I guess Joel kind of just installed it himself. So, when Joel and I first moved in here, we thought this would become our spot to actually eat in our house. 
And we had a little table here. We talked about doing a built-in kind of breakfast nook thing. And it just never felt like the right thing. And so I am super proud to say that I built this adorable island myself. And I feel like it's totally the right thing for this space. And adding a little bit more countertop surface and like food prep area is really nice. And then I got two stools, they're like metal backless stools to go under here. And I like that they're backless because I can push them all the way under the little island. And then you can easily kind of walk around without running into like stools and stuff. But yeah, I love this thing. I love how it turned out. My inspiration was a restoration hardware piece and I feel like I did a very good job. And then we also, with the help of my dad, installed a new back door, which I really like. And it kind of rounds out the style in here. So then over here, this is where we actually store all of our food in the pantry, which is actually our stairs up to our attic. So we have a really nice amount of storage for our food in this kitchen. For being kind of a small, like, galley 1950s kitchen, we have a lot of storage, which I love. I think the first purchase I made for this kitchen was actually this rug and it's a vintage rug. I got it on, I think, e-sale rugs. It looked ridiculous in here until we redid the kitchen because I don't know if you remember from those before photos, but the floor was like this awful linoleum yellow floor that literally never got clean. Not to mention this room was just ugly in general, but this was kind of like my jumping off point for the style of the whole room. I knew I wanted to do a dark bottom and light uppers and I always think when you're like styling out a room and designing a room, having a one kind of larger vintage piece, I just think it kind of like pulls the whole thing together and I like the balance of new with the original cabinets in our kitchen, new floors, and you have like a vintage rug, something that's kind of handmade and then, uh, you know, like modern finishes like new hardware and a new faucet and obviously new appliances. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of our newly remodeled kitchen. I have a blog post with all the details and links to the items you see in our kitchen if that's something you're interested in. And subscribe for more home videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!